Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since we did some dogfighting. I've seen a couple of you in the comments, I should mention that as well. You're absolutely correct. It has been quite a while. Uh, so we're back today, we're gonna be dogfighting uh, the SU-75 Checkmate with the F-16 Viper. Uh, let me just, yeah, there we go, air brakes are working. Yeah, okay, sorry, had to check my, my binds there. Uh, now this thing is supposedly a raptor killer, so let's see how it dogfights. Uh, into the merge, I'll take him a split S here. He's following somewhat. Uh, looks like he came in much slower too. Alright, on the way down here we gotta watch his nose. Don't give him a shot as he, as he pulls through there. Uh, now, from my understanding of this thing, I think it's built to be a, like an export candidate for the Russians. Uh, like a fifth generation export candidate for countries that can afford it. Uh, there we go, got some rounds coming in. He was a little too far, so those did not really even get too close to me there. I will remind you guys again that a one circle is a radius fight. He who makes the tightest radius will win. And a two-circle fight is a rate fight. He who rates around the circle faster will win. Uh, the F-16 is a two-circle rate fighter. That's what it prefers. That's just the, the aerodynamic design of the aircraft. That's what it likes better. Um, and that's what it was designed for, a two-circle. Uh, so I'm really trying to keep this Sukhoi 75 in a two-circle. And I'm trying not to give him, I'm, I'm trying to not let him deny my turning room. And then, you know, he can reverse the turn and make it a one circle fight. I uh, really don't want my speed to be below 350. You can see him now trying to do like this cutting of the circle thing these one circle fighters do. I'm going to slot in underneath him and back up, always pulling to his high six. Okay, I never want to pull him into the HUD unless I'm ready to kill him. Because if I miss, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna pass really close to each other. That's gonna take away the turning room and then he can reverse and force a one circle. Look at this. Wow, nice moves. Holy, well. Didn't see that coming actually. Not bad. <laughs> Those things, see here's the thing with these modern, um, I don't know, fighters, if you will. That was kind of a head-on pass. Uh, the F-16 was built before uh, the time of high off boresight missiles, and therefore was designed to be a two-circle gunfighter. You know, it's a very old aircraft, the F-16. Old design, I should say. Still an amazing aircraft. Old design. I'm going to go to uh, two-circle from here. Oh, is he going to hit the ground? The more modern aircraft... Oh, he's got my six here. They're designed for one circle fighting, so they can pull the nose hard and uh, get off the high off boresight Fox 2. They're not really intended to do these kind of uh, long duration... Um, there he is. Found him. Uh, Gunfights like this. There we go. Got him. Here we go come to my nose. Ooh, that was tight. That was really close. Kind of unlucky for me, but good moves from him.
nice little turning of the tables there, but he's super slow, so I'm going to try to climb and see if I can out-climb him, because he looks like he's super slow here. So am I, by the way. I have 132 knots. Remember when I was saying I don't want to be below 350? This is the reason why. Look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is not a dominating position to be in. Very bad. Uh, okay, he's got my six. There's no way out of this. I'm going to have to start nose countering. Try to get the overshoot. I can get the overshoot. The overshoot looks... Alright, it's been a, like I said, it's been a while since I did dogfighting. It <laughs> got a little rusty there. Um, but, you know, that's one of the reasons why you want to keep the F-16 above 350 knots, is so you don't end up in situations like that where the guy can basically lure you into one circle fights and there's nothing you can do about it because you're so slow. As long as you have 350 knots, you have options. You know, you can constantly chase his six, you, don't, you can avoid his one circle turns, all that kind of stuff. In the merge here, we're building a lot of turning room and I'm gonna... I'm just going to take him straight to a split S again. That worked decently well at the beginning there. Into the merge. Okay, there he goes. Once again, watching his nose on the way down. And, you know, having the airspeed to pull. There we go. He took some shots that were out of range. Uh, when I think of the checkmate here, I think it's kind of like a new MiG-29 for the Russians. You know, like a new age MiG-29. Complement the Sukhoi 57, which is kind of like the new flanker, you know, fifth generation flanker. Um, so they might buy a couple of these. It might not be entirely uh, export variant, assuming they they build them. As far as I know, they're just concepts for now. There he goes, look at that. Uh, there's a possibility that I can pull him into the HUD here, so I'm gonna try. But it can be dangerous because, like I said, I'll, he'll, I'll destroy the turning room and then he'll be able to reverse into one circle. Look at this, oh, he just crossed it. very close there and look at him there's the turn reversal he's trying to force out one circle saw that coming so i'm gonna use what little speed i have to try to out climb him here Looks like he was unable to follow that because he was pretty slow there and he reversed that turn and all that is good for a one circle, but I didn't take the bait. And so now I'm gonna once again start chasing his six o'clock. So he did a good job there trying to force that one circle and look at him, he's doing it here. He's trying to point his nose. Rounds, still too far. He did take shots there though. And look at this, I'm at 500 knots. Now I'm a little too, too fast. <laughs> F-16, probably like 420 to 430 will get you pretty good sustained turn performance. Uh, not to be confused with instantaneous turn, it's sustained turn. And look at this, I'm cashing this in and I'm crushing this guy in the two circle right now. Also, don't confuse sustained turn with corner turn. Corners are not sustainable. Look at this, pull him into the HUD, he sees it coming, he starts jinking. 
make it quick and oh hit the pilot <laughs> killed the pilot there i didn't want to waste too much time you know I, I knew he was going to start jinking and it was going to get rough i just wanted to pull him in quickly and just zip him and that's exactly what the f-16 did for me there great fight Once again, a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We've got 560,000 subscribers so far. It's pretty cool. Um, this will probably be uh, the last fight between these two because we are technically even. He's won one, I've won one. So uh, we'll call this the, the tiebreaker, if you will. Whoever wins this one wins, essentially. And you can see the F-16 is actually pretty good as long as you can keep it two circle. It's even uh, capable here into the merge here. Once again, I'm going to take them split S. This works very well for me every time. Really lets me force that two circle. Alright, so once again, we're going to watch him on the way down. Got him locked. He didn't even manage to get nose on on the way down this time. I am a little bit slow again at 260 knots. You can see he's already trying to capitalize on that. I'm going to pull up. Remember, I'm chasing his tail. Whoa, that was pretty nice. Okay, here we go. I can already tell you this is not developing well. Avoiding his nose there, just narrowly. If I can get him down on the ground, we can rate fight him on the ground. And that will be good. Alright, this is not good. I'm locked into this one circle fight with him here. I actually got him out in front. you got to keep the lift vector on him and pull. And if you can do that, you can probably squeeze him out in front. Look at this. Oh. Oh, wow. Almost hit him. Almost killed the checkmate in the one circle. <laughs> Look at this. He's had enough. He's ditching from there. Because he realized, yeah, he's a better one circle fighter, but it doesn't matter. He's out in front. So he's got to get out. He can't just keep reversing in front of my nose and expecting not to die, right? He almost died there. And he's out. He's now ditched to a two circle, hoping he has more speed and maybe he can outrate me. Uh, same way I beat him in a one circle, he thinks he can beat me in my own game in a two circle. Unfortunately for him, I had the airspeed. We're pulling him in here. He's going to try to climb. He's going to try to jink. He's slow and he's dead. He is dead, right? Yeah. That doesn't look like a controllable aircraft anymore. <laughs> All right, there you go. 2-1 to the Viper. Splash 1, Sukhoi 75, checkmate.